What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, we are attacking the fort and in the front in the uh, southern Russian region of Crimea. The idea being to open the southern front, but we must be cognizant of other threats. And it looks like this will be fairly simple because it's just lots of cavalry generally, so let's just let's crack on. Um, one thing I've got to consider at all in this campaign is that I've got Russia open. I'm going to be starting actions Swedish in Europe and in North America with their single region. And I'm also going to be, well, what I have to be aware of is my victory conditions. So I'm currently at, I've got slash are on the way to getting. But the oh, fog again, fog ruining the map. Um, I've got the majority of my objectives or I can get the majority of my objectives but the main problem is that a chunk of them are in Italy Italy uh, India so I need to be cognizant of that fact oh, well, let's split these guys into roughly in half split these guys in roughly in half ish my cavalry in the middle. The general. Good. So all of you, my artillery, focus on them. You. Try quick line the, the centre square for the first volley if you can. Got loads of cavalry, so. Oh, yes. Good. Good, Anakin, good! Not necessarily as many as I would have liked, but nonetheless, I'll take it. So let's take this wing out here and stretch it out. So let's mix and match what my guys are shooting at, make sure I get some of the infantry on the walls. But yes, my idea would be just to effectively envelop the fort. And they've got some units coming in, but I'm not going to bother chasing them down. My artillery will make absolute mincemeat of this wall, because I've got my regiment of 18 pounders. Which, which is currently low. See how they look compared to that's another 18 pounder. Well, don't think there's any difference visually, except they've just got horse teams. I hope another set of horses have been massacred. Oh, they're routing. The dragoons are gone. So in that case, let's move up this wing. Let's run them. Then let's take these guys. Move them up like so. <laughs> Feel free to run out now, guys. Got a bunch of infantry that's just waiting to meet you. There's the infantry case. Okay, so there's my cavalry. So they, if they move out of there, they're going to be opened up on by a whole load of infantry. Or oh, they're just going to be annihilated by quickline. I'll take that as an option, please. Okay, let's retarget. They're going to suicide into my infantry. Sorry about that, guys. I sort of random uh, crashed a desktop there, so I did a bit of trouble troubleshooting to find out what's wrong with it. And I hope, hope we've sorted it, but we'll soon find out. So I want these guys to go inside, or to be honest, do I just march them up here? Let's 
run you up here. Just keep them there and just in, hidden a bit. Ooh, that was a lovely shot. Some more slowly chiseled away on the on the walls. Let's just get them up here. Let's get Union Marines up on this wall. Maybe they'll start firing across the gap. Get my cavalry up here, and if they're still there, then I'll just charge into them. One of my one of my howitzers to keep pounding the breach with quick climb and get the other one to hit that unit of dragoons because they're at a lovely angle. And 59th Regiment. Oh, come on, quick climb. Hit that unit of Dragoons. One good shot. Miss, and you've got some. Oh. Wide, wide, short. Unfortunate state of affairs. Eh, yeah, chew them up. The Dragoons have entered... Oh, I thought the Dragoons were going to enter the fray. Let's keep them close for now so they don't go... Well, they are going to are about to get swallowed. Let's get as many of them as possible up out of here. If I can get them there. Warm square. Just run the cavalry out, because there won't be any good there. Hit that unit of foot. Whoa, that's a dangerous place to fire a quick line. Just keep dropping them on the breach, because I'm not moving into the breach yet. Who's this? Is it an infantry unit? Chasseur de Fichier. Where are you? So I ran my hussars out because I feared that they wouldn't they'd get a bit. Hit the infantry from the rear. Let's prompt the Cossacks to come back out again. Run back into square. Let's run them back out of combat. Let's commit my general. commit my actual troops. Well, not my actual troops.
now charge into them. You will be able to get some charges off. Oh, and these guys forming up quickly to fire onto those cavalry. I'd like them to support these guys, but to be honest, they might actually have. They might actually be able to finish them off. Well, and use forming up. Both my howitzers, drop them on that unit of line infantry. You light infantry. Yeah, you are light infantry. So I'd like you just to form up, but I don't get why you're not. Is there anyone trapped? They should be forming up against the parapet and firing down against garrison guards. Join the attack in here, just so you've got a big supporting blob of so you've got a big supporting blob of French infantry. Let's bring these guys into the breach, because everyone's shattered. Then my militia will follow them. God, they're going to get annihilated. Let's run these guys over onto this bridge, this entrance to capture it. Yeah, marines are routed, that's fair enough. They're only light infantry after all. Curiosier's inside, to charge you down to the Cossacks because you're only a only light horse. You chase down that infantry unit, you're not really doing anything, so you're going to come down here. Let's get out of square, charge them to the Cossacks. There you go, we've captured the doorway. The gateway, rather. Move you down into the fort. Wow. Halt fire. Danger friggin' close. Holy hell. Rob of air. Charge. Yeah, that's fair enough, you routed. There's <laughs> not many left of you. It's been sloppy. It's my first battle of the session, so I'm a bit rusty. Skirmish order. But just smash into the general's bodyguard. There you go, now charge into the Cossacks. Let's just load the Dragoon's horses. To be honest, turn the fireball off. The general's about to get get stabbed. <laughs> Fairly lackluster charge, but there we go. Charge them into the dragoons. Let's 
one guy there. See, we're not even into much combat, but I think it's because the AI doesn't really know what to do. See, if we run them out of combat with the Dragoons, it seems to calm them down. I guess we're gonna have to hit him. Let's get him out of formation and just go straight in. Who's that out there? God, everything's just going. Everything's all being clogged. Send them in to help knock out the general. They seem to be taking their time. Fighting them one at a time. Like the gen like a gentleman. Got the general. If you run out here, then go in. They run out here, then charge into the cavalry. You, you've got just enough of an angle there to shoot a load of them before my guys no don't bother let's get my Agilvy regiment into combat yeah the Russians are finding a break on my infantry Send my cavalry after them and then just hunker my infantry down in a protective screen. Oh, I did, I'm <laughs> meant to click them to move, but I'll take the win. A really scrappy win. It seems cheap, but I'm going to chalk that down to it being my first of the session. <laughs> but right, yeah, that's not a bad ratio. But yes, the key point is we have pushed back all of the stacks and captured Crimea. Crimea is ours, and let's get to recruiting or replenishing whatever you can afford to replenish. And, but yes, so we are running down here. We've, we're attacking, we've attacked northern Russia. We've got forces landing here in Sweden. But, what we've got to bear in mind is that my objectives, victory conditions, I need to catch a right target house. So, to catch Liguria, which is Genoa, which I'm probably going to I will knock them out eventually, but they're not a priority at the minute. Michigan Territory, which I'm about to I'm about to take or will take. Oh yeah, that's the Swedish Swedish territory up here. Um, Flanders, which means I have to declare on Spain. I think it's Spain. Yes, we're gonna try to buy it from them. And then Orissa, which is in Orissa is in uh, India, Karnataka is in India and Algonquin territory is which was Algonquin territory no one has Algonquin territory Cherokees, Gustafara oh, it's, oh it's, okay so it's Michigan Territory. Oh yeah, so I do, so, so eventually, I'm, effectively, I'm going to have to declare war on Spain. Well, so maybe, maybe I might declare war on Spain next, then. Effectively. If I'm going to have to fight them, then I'm, if I'm going to have to fight them, you know, to capture Flanders and their region in America, or do I just keep going and force them to eventually try break faith with me? Because right now I'm friendly with Austria, and Austria would have to choose between us. So if I can make Spain attack me, that would be useful. But yes, I do need to capture Karnataka, Arisa and Sikars, and Hindustan. So I do need to have a fairly comprehensive attack in India. 
in order to reach my objectives. But for now, I need to knock out the Swedes, do a bit more pushing into Russia, and probably start to create an Indian attack force, I think. My trade's looking lovely, but I'm going to hit enter. See what happens. Oh, some more reinforcements from the Niagara Siege are coming in. We've got some fractions of stacks running around. I could try trade. I could probably trade Flanders for something, actually. I could probably, else. I could probably trade them both for something. Trade away region in America for what I need? Maybe. It's possible. I'd very much prefer them to prefer them to break break their alliance with me to declare on me because then I have a chance of having Austria stay as my ally which would be very very handy because we have a long complicated border and I don't want to be effectively at war with Spain Austria Russia and Sweden all in you know that's just the problems in Europe I've got to face but I do have plenty of cash so if they did try it I'd have a Damn good go at actually stopping them. Oh, good. Russia's heading westward. Hmm. So let's see where they go in terms of near Archangel. I hope they don't run around my guys. Which the AI is known to do, particularly if they know that I'm going to. But to be honest, right there, we're actually we are actually threatening Moscow. Question is, do I go for Moscow? Uh, nope. Nope. Ah, the Austrians won. Yep. See, they ran around. Opportunity to intercept. <laughs> and effect this and these guys would effectively be running no they'd be no I'll leave that for now because they won't get close but I've got enough capacity to run my army around to Archangel Do I, yeah I may as well may as well chop them up yeah so weeds respond because they could do some decent amphibious assaults because they've got a strong navy, which I've not really got much of a counter to at the minute. Yeah, feel free to to, to proceed some of my little uh, trade lanes. Obviously, they're coming after my research institutions. I'll well, say I haven't got a navy. I forgot about my navy. It's blocking the entrance to the Baltic. So let's see what Louisiana does, if anything. Right now, there's been nothing but a thorn in my side. Naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. So they're using a whole Development big stack to will increase your nation to blockade one of my regions to blockade a trade port. Not even, not even one of my biggest. I'll accept that trade. Question is, well, this army is definitely going to push out and hit Kiev, because that would be the biggest knockout blow I could do to them, I think. But in terms of up here, Votre Majesty? you're going to run around Et here. Votre Majesty? Nice, you're probably just going to. Uh, those are the only armies they've got. Prepare the fur exchange. Monsieur You're going to block Sir? them. New town in Suez. You've already got. Yeah, you're becoming a Catholic region. Good. So let's build a craft workshop and let's build an army staff college. You chill, chill out. Yeah, so there. Hmm. Trying the best order to do things. 
they're going to say attack me. Oh, I think it was my idea to to support that army. Yeah, it's a good idea. Recruitment, Bay of Biscay. Have I recruited two? Yeah, two admirals. So let's get Dion over to Portsmouth. Let's get London to build an army staff college. Let's upgrade this place. Let's get some thirds. Let's get another third and another two seconds. Good. Okay, so let's make this army move up to threaten Stockholm. It's quite a little, little, little force, really. So I think what I want to do is move them as a supporting army, move them north. To hold, hold off these guys until if I can take Stockholm, I can send one of those stacks westwards to hit, hit those forces. The gun limbers are going to be a bit behind. Ah, plenty of plenty of ships. If the Swedes want to try anything. Can do have a little navy. Which do I say? Okay, let's have a look. Let's go have a recce. Well, let's use the third rate. Let's have a recce off of Finland. Oh yeah, I remember the Finnish garrison's pretty. <laughs> loads of light cavalry. Huh. Let's raid raid their port. Do some coastal raiding with my ship. Um, I think. Hmm. Because we do want to do is move. Uh, well, I definitely want to move you into them. I want to hit Andre. Let's fight. Because I do need to play from my territory in Russia that we're fighting and they've got a strong army so some of their forces in northern Russia to clear the path towards Moscow I was going to run around and I thought do I pick the little ones or do I just effectively take Moscow hunker down in it I think it's probably a good option oh this is a lovely lovely battleground These guys are going to advance up. I've got a bit of a reserve. Put them out on the left. Stretch the pikes out. Cavalry. They're in that little pocket. Forgot my houses again. It's very me, that is. Shrapnel range yet. Let's get, I can move up my cavalry into a better position and start to angle some of my infantry. My artillery is focusing on their guns still. Killed some trading teams. Stupid scroll wheel. There we go. Let's 
Unlimber, quick climb, get firing as quickly as possible. You, okay, you within shrapnel range. They are. Garrison guards, perfect. Well, if anything, I might actually do that. Oh, they missed and hit some line infantry to the rear. First volleys of quick climb going in. Are they going to hit the artillery? They are. Don't bother with them. Instead, hit that unit of line infantry. Let's run you guys. So those two batteries are still. Ah, perfect shot. Soon muskets gonna start flashing on this flank, or if not, I'm going to force them to. There we go. General's bodyguards, they're taking a bit of a risky direction. It's time to move in, switch you to canister shot. Just out of range, but I'll probably move in range. Oh man, that's a lot of militia that fell during the first volley. So they are going to make it to the merge. How are they going to fare in combat? Not very well. Broken immediately. Perfect. Let's move my pikes. So what are these? Militia, Militia, Regiment of Fur. I'm going to try something. Fight, fight melee with melee. Throw in my pikes. Then let's take you it's firing quick lines to do round shots start blinking at the dragoons and let's turn off my artillery so yep we've charged into them their line infantry is trying to flee but my infantry will pin them good we've got a solid position so let's move up Once the pikes get involved, then this will all start to melt. Infantry charge their dug in infantry. Get my crossiers to hit their dragoons. Let's unleash my general. You chase down that foot infantry unit. You strain that general unit. Let's 
just move on. Because ultimately I'll run into their unit of dragoons at the rear. I'll make the Dragoons route good. I'll go hit that unit of Dragoons. Let's get this general to chase down this unit of militia. Let's get the Pikes to divert to hit the dug in infantry, get my infantry. Get some of my infantry in on the general. Not the general, this dug in infantry unit. off of guard mode so they pursue the infantry. Let's get you firewall off to go hit the infantry to press all of these guys guard mode off so you can pursue the line infantry. Oh, sip boys against the drummer. Well he was. Their cavalry is about to hit me. Shot some of my infantry into them. Shot some of my infantry to chase down that line infantry unit. So how far away is the red line? Let's continue. Evidently I did not fix the crashed desktop issue, which is very frustrating. My general is chasing them down. To be honest, they're probably going to... yeah, they are going to route. So run into them. Let's pull my infantry back. Let's pull my infantry out of the way. Yeah, they may as well finish, finish off mopping up that unit. The militia. I mean, after all, it's just still another unit. They're going to flee. To be honest, they're all going to flee, so let's get my general plus cavalry on that final infantry unit and mop them up. Got them. Well, we'll get them. 16, 14, 13, 11, 9, 8, 6, 5, 2, good. Delicia sent fleeing the tail between their legs. Nice exchange ratio, 2. So they've been fall back. I wouldn't be surprised if those two stacks. Um, amalgamate together. Oh, the reinforcements never came in. So they're reinforcing and my fresh army is here ready to take the spot. Oh yeah, that's all, all previous stuff. But anyway, looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed and we will see you next time.